A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem The Almighty says in the Quran Al-Kareem إِن تَجْتَنِبُوا كَبَائِرَ مَا تُنْهَوْنَ عَنْهُ نُكَفِّرْ عَنْكُمْ سَيِّئَاتِكُمْ وَنُدْخِلْكُمْ جَنَّاتِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the road to paradise very easy very clear not easy but very clear I don't think there is any alhamdulillah person here who doesn't want to go to paradise we all want to go to Jannah, right? Yes. May Allah make it easy on us. Very simple. Avoid major sins. We will erase your minor sins. That's what Allah said. The ayah I just quoted for you is this. In Taj Tanibu Kabaira Ma Tunhauna Anhu. What happens? No kaffir ankum sayyati. Ankum sayyati. Wa nudkhilkum jannat. All Allah wants is said avoid major sins. If you humans avoid. He said tajanibu. He didn't say don't do. He said avoid. Don't even come near. If you avoid major sins. We will forgive your minor sins. Your minor sins. So that's the first thing. Avoid the major, he will forgive the minor. You have done many ma minor, but because you didn't do the major sins, alhamdulillah, these are forgiven. And then he said, and we will <laughs> grant you paradise. Now the road is very clear. So what to do to go to paradise? Avoid major sins. That's all. With the little ibadah that you and I may do. What is five daily prayers? What is Ramadan? What is 2.5% zakat? The tax is more than 2.5%. What is going to hajj once in a lifetime? With Allah's man. You do that and you avoid major sins. Don't come near the major sins. Don't come near them. Don't say, I don't do them. Don't even come near. Alhamdulillah, that's the, what you call, road to paradise. Your minor sins will be forgiven. Yawm al Qiyamah, Allah sees that you have done many minor sins. But you didn't do major sins. So he forgives. And I will give you paradise. <coughs> it's very clear, very simple. But let's see how to do it? Uh, when it comes to doing, may Allah help us. So if you avoid the following major sins, my dear brothers and sisters, for sure, inshallah, you will be in paradise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Shaykh, if, how about if I have done one of those major sins in my life? Some of the major sins we're going to talk about. It's okay. As long as you repented and you didn't die, you're fine. But you die with a major sin, it's too bad. For example, you die drinking alcohol. Too bad, too bad. Big problem. Please understand this. You committed an offense. <coughs> what do you expect? You have broken the law. And who, who, whose law? Allah's law. <coughs> you don't pay taxes, you'll see what they do to you. They come after you, here in dunya. You break Allah's laws, you think... Uh, <coughs> so you have to repent. If we repent before death, alhamdulillah, as if we didn't do. But if we die committing those major sins, one of them, just one, we are in big trouble. Please understand this. So let's see, the road of paradise is avoiding major sins. Alhamdulillah. Just stay away from major sins. What are the first major sins we need really, my brothers and sisters, to be so paranoid about? I use the word paranoid. You have to be very scared of it. Number one is, of course, you know. A shirk. Yalla. One of the brothers with loud voice <coughs> read for us a definition of major sins. There are seven zero. Major sins in Islam. 70. Sisters, brothers, serious. 
we know maybe seven, ten max. So the rest, and maybe I'm doing one of them. And I don't know it's a major sin. Is that an excuse, by the way? Not knowing, is it an excuse? No. Police stop you and say, sorry, I didn't know. They give you tickets. Say, it's not my problem, you're supposed to know. So Yom Al-Qiyama, you cannot say, I didn't know. All of you, please understand this. Don't say, I didn't know. Why? Because you're commanded to learn. What's the first command? Iqra, seek knowledge. And seeking knowledge is from the cradle to the grave. Please understand this. And we're supposed to learn every day, not just once every two weeks. Every day, every day, every day. Especially at the end of our life. Those who pass 40 should uh, study twice a, a day. Because not much left. 59 years old died in his bed. He thought he would wake up. Allah said, come. Allah says, Allahu Akbar. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Major sins are defined as what is forbidden by Allah Very good. and His Messenger in the Quran and the Sunnah in addition to what is narrated on the authority of early Muslims. Very good. Allah the Most High promises whoever avoids the major sins to expiate his minor sins. Very good. This is definition. It's very important to know. What are the major sins? The major sins are defined as this. The things that are forbidden in the Quran and Hadith. If Allah himself has forbidden something, and his Prophet also has forbidden something, and what the early ulama agreed upon, because the early ulama have an advantage. What is it over us? The early scholars of Islam, they are much better than us. What, in, in what sense? They saw the Prophet. Big difference. Someone saw the Prophet and was his student. You can never match. That's why we always look at that generation. Allah has privileged them. Sorry, we were not created there. They are much better than us. They saw the Prophet Sallallahu they learned from him. They were there when the Wahyu was coming. Brothers and sisters, when he's sitting and the Wahyu comes, they're with him. You can never match those people. They fought with him. They bled with him. They sweated with him. They shared their wealth with him. They were kicked out from Mecca with him. These people are very special. That's why we must love them and respect them. So, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran says something is haram, don't do it. When the Prophet ﷺ says something, don't do it. And the ulama of the Sahaba agree about it, just take it as major. Don't even think it's a minor one. So that's the definition. And if you avoid them, as I said, alhamdulillah, because you avoided them, Allah will forgive your minor sins. Small sins that you did here and there, he will forgive you, and therefore get, grant you to paradise. Look at this verse: "A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Yalla Farid, what is your book? <coughs> Give him uh, until he, until yeah, someone he asks. Yeah, the Arabic, I don't. Uh, is it clear to read? Clear, very clear. This one, this one. I'm sorry. Yeah, but uh, it is uh, mixed. It's the other way. Huh? Yeah, really? the Arabic is chok chok chong. It's like Chinese this way. You mean you ha have to read this way? No. no, we will read only. I, I will read the Arabic because it's mixed. Oh, oh. Mm. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's printing. It's printing. Yeah. The words. Okay. So don't pro don't worry. Don't worry. I'm here. I read the. You read the English. Allah Azza wa Jal says. إن تجتنب كبائر ما تنهون عنه نكفر عنكم سيئاتكم وندخلكم مدخلا كريما. It's not English. Look at the translation. سورة النساء. سورة النساء. Verse thirty one. If you avoid the great sins which you are forbidden to do, we shall remit from you your small sins and admit you to a noble entrance in paradise. Very good. Here it is. Just avoid major sins. We take care of the rest. We will forgive your minor sins and grant you paradise. Is this too much for Allah to ask? We are supposed to not come near them anyways. Major sins. We will see them what major sins. 
We are not even supposed to come near. Near. Not, don't do them. Don't even come near them. It's like, na'udhu billah, fire. When you see fire, don't come near it. It's safer to stay away. Anything may sparkle from the fire and touches you, burn you. So stay away. Don't go there near. I said, nothing will happen. It will burn your clothes. At least give you bad smell. Smoke. You smell like you were close to fire. That's how some Muslims live. They live near the haram. Near the haram. Near the haram. That's why their life is full of challenges. For example, they are always near bomos and shirk. Although they don't go to bomo, but they are near that. They are near liquor. They don't drink, but they sit with people who drink liquor. They socialize with them. <coughs> ah, come in, come in, you're gonna see. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Wal-ladhina yashtanibuna kaba'ir al-ithmi wal-fawahisha wa idha ma ghadibu hum yaghfirun. Surat al-shura. And those who avoid the greatest sins and al-fawahish Illegal sexual intercourse, etc. And when they are and when they are angry, they forgive. Very good. And those who avoid what? The greater sin. Avoid. Look, he didn't say they don't do. Please understand. The word is very important. They are. They are. They don't even come near it. They live that life of piety. Mixing party, they don't go. Bomo, they don't never visit. Don't say no, I, I go, but inshallah I will never believe him. Riba. <laughs> huh? Riba. Riba, very good. Never. So if they go to the bank, is to withdraw or to deposit, n n not for anything else. Yes. And we'll see, we'll see. We are just building a case as we start seeing few major sins. You find out if you are close to them or far away from them. Very good. Surah Al-Najm. Another verse in Surah Al-Najm. Surah 53, verse 32. Those who avoid great sin, see the Quran, verses 6, 152, 153. And Al-Fawahish, illegal sexual intercourse, accept the small parts, verily, <coughs> is of vast forgiveness. Very good. You want the fast forgiveness, Yawm Al-Qiyamah? Afu. Afu. You want Afu? You want Allah not even to bother you with a question or two? Avoid major sins. Don't be near major sins. The word is avoid, avoid, avoid. Look at, in, look at the English. If you avoid, those who avoid, those who avoid. Ah, that's the key man. Now Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the Prophet, peace be upon him, please. The five prescribed, prescribed prayers, and from one Friday prayer to another, and from one from from Ramadan to another, <coughs> until forgiveness. For what's between them, as long as you do not commit the major sins. Very good. One thing Allah has given us, He didn't give to any nation, is this: between one prayer and one prayer, whatever sins you committed, minor, they are forgiven. Let's say. We, we prayed Maghrib earlier, then we came here. Let's say between Maghrib and Isha, you may say something that you shouldn't say. <coughs> the moment you pray, the Isha is gone. Allah has already forgiven you. Forgiven you. This is why we need to pray on time, my brothers. Ah. So every time you make a minor sin, each time you pray, it's forgiven. Alhamdulillah, that's one. Second, Jumu'ah to Jumu'ah. Between one Friday and one Friday, all the minor sins are forgiven. Just by praying Jumu'ah. And Ramadan to Ramadan. In another hadith, Umrah to Umrah. So four things. Salat to Salat, the five daily prayers. Jumu'ah to Jumu'ah. Ramadan to Ramadan. And Umrah to Umrah. All your minor sins are forgiven. But with one condition. If you avoid major sins. Yeah, I, I didn't commit zina, I didn't lie, I didn't cheat, I didn't... Uh, so these are my major sins. You're forgiven. Small sins here and there. Isn't that great? Isn't that rahma? Just by being a Muslim, doing your best. 
So we are obliged, my sisters and brothers, to learn about what the major sins are so that we avoid them. Not fall in them and say, Ya Allah, Ya Tuhan, please forgive me. No, why did you come near the water if you don't want to be wet? Why did you come near fire if you don't want to, burn, to feel hot at least? Stay away. Stay away.